What is going on, beautiful people? I wanted to do a quick video on telling you or showing you rather my biggest regret when getting started in real estate investing. And you will very, you'll probably never hear me say I have too many regrets, but this is one thing that I regret I didn't start sooner. But if you're new to the channel, my name is Clifford Walker, the Cowboy Closer. Go ahead and subscribe, like, and turn on those notifications because I'm going to be sharing my real estate investment journey with you along with tips, tricks, and actionable steps that you can utilize that the gurus aren't telling you or sharing with you and actually getting started with real estate investing. So let's jump right into it because you know I never love to keep you long. So one thing that I think is crucial when getting started in real estate investing is making sure that you're keeping track of your leads. Okay. You are spending marketing money, whether that's cold calling, banded signs, ringless voicemails, and you have several different people reaching out to you, um, whether they're wanting to sell their house right now or in the near future. And it's very, very important that when you have those leads that are wanting to sell their house in the future, that you're able to keep up with them and have consistent follow-up. Um, in this industry, you're going to find out that consistency is really the name of the game a lot of the times. And so when I got started, I was cold calling. I was putting out 300 banded signs out every week along with text messaging. And I didn't keep up with all of my leads that I had coming in. At one point, my wife actually, bless her heart, I love her, made me some little lead forms on some sheet of papers where I could just put their name, their property address, and some notes. Um, and I literally had a stack of these paper. And I'm like, okay, I have to find a more efficient way to have this follow-up system. And that's what I want to show you. So uh, in the industry, you're going to hear these referenced as CRMs, which is like a customer relation management system or something of that nature. <clears throat> um, particularly when it comes to real estate investing, probably one of the top CRMs that you're going to hear about is a system called Podio. And I even created a little example account that I'm going to show you here in just a second. But you can sign up for Podio for free, uh, I believe it is, until you get over like 500 leads in the system. And then you have to pay uh, a whopping $25 a month for the system. But let me show you kind of what that looks like. Um, so let's hop over here. And you see here, this is Podio. Now, of course, you'll log on. I'm already logged in because um, I don't want to share all my leads and information with everybody uh, to the world who see this. But it's going to be like a blank canvas, so to speak. So you'll come in here and you'll create a workspace is what it's called. Um where you can have your leads separated into different categories. And then they have what's called apps. So you will download these apps. Now, if you are a tech nerd or geek, and I say that in the most respectful way, and you really geek out on it, you can literally create your own app in the system and build it out. Or like me and... If you're like me and you're not very tech savvy, you can get one of the pre-designed apps here and it'll take you to the app store and just put in real estate investing or whatever you want to do. And they have these quick app packages that you can get right here. And it's really simple. Like you have cash buyers, whiteboard, seller leads. Uh, drip sequence, et cetera, et cetera. So you can get really creative and build out your podio 
to your particular needs and your particular business. And so when you have here, these are pretty much the basic apps that I have in mind that we're using every single day. So obviously seller leads, we need to keep up with the people that are coming into our Podio system. And this is what it looks like. Like you put the property address in here, their phone number, email address, mailing address, um, lead status, not contacted in progress, et cetera, et cetera, so that we can keep track of every step of that lead. Y'all, I can't tell you, I can only imagine how much money I've lost by not implementing this sooner and how many deals I let fall through the cracks. And so everybody watching this and listening to this, I want you to be successful right out the gate. So the more, the sooner you can set this up and start keeping track of everything, the better off it will be. Um, asking price on what the seller looks like, your drip, your drip sequence when it comes to follow-ups, um, you can set that up however you want. There is going to be some automation involved there, um, but we're not going to get into all that. I just want you to see uh, the basics and kind of what that looks like. But you can keep up with your leads here. Um, contact information, which is pretty much the same as leads, but not as in-depth. Uh, appointments that you've made, offers that you made, your different forms of marketing. Um, now that I have multiple forms of marketing going on, I like to keep track of that type of stuff and know which marketing campaigns are working the best for me. My drip sequence, I also keep my cash buyers in here, uh, a list of them and their information. Um, closings, closings are paid uh, or paydays, right? We don't get paid unless they go to closing. So it's really important to me that I keep track of when closing dates are set and actually go through. Um, I do do rehabs. So I have a small rehab section of properties here that I have lined out. And I also wanted to share this as an example also, because even if you're not a wholesaler and you're doing more flips, it's always nice to still keep track of everything um, and have your process systematized as much as possible. So for example, what that would look like for me, when I got a contract and I've determined if I'm going to rehab it, I will put my repair bids in there. Um, I'll put my contractor's information in there, make sure that I have my steps in, in order in regards to setting up my funding, the did I get the utilities turned on, the insurance, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then lastly, realtors for me as well, because uh, I actually utilize realtors quite a bit and I actually do marketing to realtors also uh, for deals. So it's nice for me to keep up with that type of information with realtors that I've worked with uh, in the past. So you see, it's nothing um, crucial. It's nothing um, super fancy. Keep it basic. Keep it simple. Remember, I love, love, love simplicity. And it's hard to scale complicated. Okay. So Keep it simple. Make sure that it works for you and your business. And I hope that this was valuable to y'all. So let me know what you think. Hit a like if you enjoyed it uh, and leave a comment on any other videos that you would like to see in the future. Talk to you in a bit.